Hey folks, uh, today we're going to show you how to uh, do a two-sided registration on an image press that is equipped with a Prisma Sync controller. The sheet we're going to be, going to be working with is Futura and it is a 120 pound cover. If you look real close, you probably know this already, but this is a 325 GSM sheet. It's a 12 by 18. And to give you an idea of where we started, I'm going to take a look at how we are working from default. So this is where we started. And this is where we're going to end up. Okay, now this process is going to use essentially two sheets. This one is always ever 11 by 17. It can only be 11 by 17. And it doesn't matter what the sheet is that you put this on, because that's going to go down on the glass. You'll see that here in a minute. But this is the one that we're going to use for what we call our semi-automated two-sided registration. First step, if you already have this, you don't need to print another one but I'm going to show you how to make one within the process here for the Prism Sync controller. So, I'm going to put this up in the corner so that it lines up back here. I've already selected my sheet. We're going to click Optimize. If you don't see this Optimize crooked arrow, you might see it down under this one. We're going to optimize that sheet. There's a button right here for registration. Press that one. We're going to do the automatic registration start. This button right here where it says start, that's going to generate that two-sided black sheet. We don't need that because we already have it. Okay. Okay, so this is what we just got. We're going to take, if you look down here, you'll see that this sheet has a one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four. We're going to line up this blue arrow with the dotted line on this one and just as it shows on this on these little insets you're going to split the edge of that sheet along this dotted line close the lid push ok Fast forward this through the next three steps because they are the same. And that, as you can see, is the finish button. Now, if you'd like to see what those measurements were, if you click this right here, this shows you all the settings that were made from what you just did. I'm showing you the front side right now. Here is the back. And that's it. You have now optimized that sheet so that the front and back are much, much, much closer. So back to the sheet, we still have the optimize button up here. Click on that one, back to registration. There is an option out at the bottom called correction of skew, more information available. So on that one, click next. We already have our sheet selected, so it's gonna print on our 12 by 18 Futura. Okay, so I'm gonna push that okay button there and zoom this out so we can see what's going on. Right now, you'll notice it says primary image and we want to do measure from the edge of the sheet to G. And I'm going to kind of just go fast through this. We have one millimeter. And Mr. Calculator. So. So we have one millimeter, which is length clear. One is 393. It's already correct. 
So we're going to go through that entire process. The next step after you get all of these, it'll just walk you through it. It's a wizard. We have skew comes next and then trapezoid. Get through all those and that's pretty much it for Prisma Sync. Okay, and there's something more to remember. What we just did was for one specific sheet. The reason for that is that these media are size specific and they have their own characteristics. So some are thicker, some are thinner. We don't want eight and a half by 11, 20 pound bond to be printing and registering the same way as 13 by 19 coded. Okay, in this segment, we're gonna do the, the same process, but this particular machine is equipped with a fiery. So that would be the same if it were a, a Canon board print kit or an external or embedded fiery controller. Um, the steps are essentially the same. It just, we get there a little bit differently. So hang tight, here we go. So this probably looks familiar. Now, how we get to the two-sided registration on this guy is, get a little better screen here. We need to get to paper type management. So go down here and we can just, uh, as an FYI, we cannot do this two-sided registration to any of the default media. These are no. We can only do this to custom type. And there's a reason for that. It works the same on both um, Fire and Prisma Sync, but we cannot modify um, default media. We have to create one. So right now we're gonna work on the hammer mill. There is an edit button at the bottom. On page two, and by the way, if you don't see four pages here, your service technician will need to light this option up for you. On page two, where it says image position, I'm gonna click the change button. And we are gonna use the scanner on this one. And to create this sheet on the C810, C910, C710, this button right here will let you put the output that um, guide sheet. So for us, we're gonna use the scanner. I'm gonna just do one and next. Make sure and use our 11 by 17. Start printing. And because you've seen this already on the Prisma Sync, we are following these instructions. We are lining these up just like we did on the previous video with these. Like so. Close the lid. And start. That process is the exact same for all. So I just fast forwarded to the last step. That's scanning the red arrow with the three blanks behind it. And we are done. Now, if you click on the do not use scanner, this is where you can see what adjustments have been made. You can fine tune these either by dialing in your um, zoom for the front and back. You can also work with uh, alignments and there are other test pages that you can do. This, these would be manual, uh, like measurement. They are in that one, an output test page. Just one copy, next. Do our 11 by 17, just so that you can see how this one looks. Now, obviously, this one is not going to be used with the glass. You're going to be doing based on measurements, and we're going to start on the first side. And you'll dial those in here. So there is your E and your I, your F and your D, and those line up with these guys. And that is also the process that if you do not have a document feeder on your machine, you can only do the, the manual do not use scanner option. So technically it's more accurate, but it's a little bit more tedious. And there you go. Thanks for joining. Okay, you may remember from earlier, we showed you how to view the settings that have been made from your two-sided registration. 
in the settings editor from the machine's web page, you can actually get to these very same settings and make some fine tuning adjustments here. Now, obviously we don't have any interaction with the engine as far as seeing it immediately. You have to you know, print something and go back out to it, but that's where those settings can be found and they can be adjusted here.